Jennifer Bond, Josh Mabe, Nash Coleman, and we got Mike Ford. Mike, how are you doing today? Doing well. How are you? Good. So how did you get your start in racing? Uh, excuse me, you're, you're breaking up there. How did you get your start in racing? Um, when I was younger, I was, uh, you know, when I was in high school, I was a, a gearhead. I really loved working on cars, and I knew that's what I wanted to do. And, you know, and being a, a young kid, I was competitive in, in all sports and wanted to continue that. So um, after high school, I went to, to tech school here in, in the Charlotte area and, and excelled in that. And, you know, from that, I got a, a chance to join on at, at Sabco Racing. Uh, with Felix Sabatis when, when they first started back in um, 89. And um, mm -hmm. I, I jumped in with both feet, and I've, I've loved it ever since and, and been a part of it ever since. So when did you um, start working with Joe Gibbs Racing? Um, I went over there um, in the middle of 2005. They made uh, crew chief change and, and brought me on in the middle of the season in 05 and, and worked through you know, several different drivers, you know, we worked with, with Leffler, Terry Labonte, uh, J.J. Yaley, and, and then on to Denny in that car, uh, more or less as, as audition and drivers for that car. So, um, when you were work, when you were working with, um, Denny, what was your, um, obviously you had a lot of success there, um, what was your, um, top memory at Joe Gibbs Racing with Denny Hamlin? I think it was in the early years when everything was still real, uh, real raw. Um, I think the the Pocono wins, the, his rookie season, along with the uh, uh, with the, the shootout, his first butt shootout uh, that we went to. I think those were were my favorite moments of the whole time. All right. So then, um, where do you go after Joe Gibbs Racing? Um, I, I took a little bit of time off and. So, um, when you first started at BK Racing, you were actually a crew chief for a little while, right? No, no, I did not. Um, I came on as, uh, you know, as the title competition director, but pretty much do a little bit of everything. Um, and, you know, the, uh, the crew chief position opened up a little bit, so I filled in for uh, a few weeks through the early part of the year, and then I filled in for a few weeks in the latter part of the year. Kind of evaluate um, situations and uh, you know, kind of just uh, spend a few weeks, you know, on each team, uh, just seeing you know, seeing where things were. So this season you got two new rookie drivers. Um, does that change the approach for um, you as a competition director? Yeah, it uh, it really does because dealing with with you know veterans is a lot di different than dealing with rookies. You know, but it's a it's a uh, you know a breath of fresh air to a degree. You know, you, you like to see um, you know ambition. You, you like to see uh, like to see growth. I mean, that's, you know, we're trying to grow a race team, and I think that uh, you know, both our guys are, are good fits for what we have going on. Uh, we know that there are going to be some growing pains along the way. You know, we know that uh, on a, from the performance standpoint, our company is not where we want it to be either. So. Um, you know, with the with bringing rookies on, it kind of kind of puts things in sync, if you will, because we're as a company very uh, very green, also. 
All right, so Mike, thanks for taking some time to join us today. Yep, I appreciate it. Thanks, Mike. All right. That's all for NASCAR Minute. Thanks for joining us.